to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, the first, uh, or not, I guess this would be the third uh, thing on the, is the approval of the minutes of our last meeting. Does anyone have any corrections or additions or deletions? I move we accept the minutes as printed. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. And then uh, under new business, we, we're, we have already approved, but I want to hear more about the wreaths across America ceremony by is Mr. Rick Lewis. Want to come up and introduce yourself and talk or whoever you brought with you? Hi, hey, I'm uh, Rick Lewis. Uh, we were up here in front of the ISO about 10, 11 months ago, myself and Joe Crowley, uh, to introduce Wreaths Across America into Indian River County. We've done so this year, and at this point, we have uh, raised 883 of our needed 1,300 plus wreaths. Uh, on December 15th, there'll be a ceremony held at uh, Veterans Memorial Island. We'll begin the day over on Crest Lawn at 10:30 to place the wreaths, and we will uh, move from there over to the island for the ceremony at noon. Uh, I'll let Joe kind of explain a little bit more about the ceremony. I think he probably knows a little bit more about that than me. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us again. Um, we will leave Crestlawn. We should be laying the wreaths at the island for 1130. And then immediately following is the ceremony at noon. That ceremony is the same one that will take place at Arlington. They try to line everything up. So all this, the 1,600 places, uh, uh, locations in the country this year doing wreaths across America. So they try to do the ceremony all at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, it's a brief ceremony. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Young will be our... Our speaker that day, um, he will keep keep everything moving right along. Um, it's a it's a great ceremony. I would encourage anyone in the public to come. I would encourage anyone to be there to help lay the wreaths. I mean, it really is a great event. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the island, for afterwards, um, we will pick up the wreaths just because we're in sunny Florida and not my old home of Massachusetts. <laughs> they don't last as long, obviously here. So we don't mm -hmm. want the island to. To, to look bad afterwards. So the wreaths will be picked up a couple weeks after. We'll keep an eye on them. Okay. They'll stay there through the holiday, and then right after the holiday, we'll, we'll make sure they all come down. All right. You mentioned you're a little short on the, the goal of money. Is there enough wreaths for all of the cenotaphs on the island? The island is fully covered. Uh -huh. island was fully covered. Um, very quickly yes, by sir. some donations. Okay. Um, that is was always our goal that that was going to be covered first, mm -hmm. and then we'd move to Crestlawn. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are we are all set over there. The island will be. 100% covered. Mm -hmm. And as I'd mentioned to Rick, uh, I guess at a previous meeting, this has already been approved, but because this is televised, uh, others can hear about attending the ceremony as well as maybe helping with uh, Absolutely. With we'd the love cause. to see, we, we, because there's 800 wreaths to be placed at Crestlawn, we'd love to see a couple hundred people uh -huh. show up at Crestlawn at, at 10, 10, 15 for the wreath laying at 10, 30, because, you know, the more the merrier, if everybody could do two to four wreaths, I mean, hundreds of people would be great if uh -huh. we could get them there uh, sure. and that's that's not unheard of so please anyone there at 10 30 11 30 at the island and then stay for the ceremony immediately following I, I guarantee you no one will be disappointed now you said you had 883 of the how many did you say you needed we need almost 1350 all right so okay so do you have a website or do you have a place where people can go and, and take a look at it and maybe help or, or do a donation if, if needed do. Unfortunately, at this time, the cutoff has been hit because the reeds are being shipped from, from Maine. So okay. um, 
This was our first year here, mm -hmm. and we were very happy with, with nearly 900 wreaths in our first year. We were extremely happy. Um, next year, we, we obviously plan on getting more, and we've learned things to do to get the word out better in the community. Um, Rick has done a great job with that because he's a community guy. I've only moved here two years ago, so it's more difficult. I just jumped on Rick's coattails, and it makes it very, very easy for us to get out in the public. Right, because so I know the community is incredible. So once the word is out, and, and yeah. As you said, you know, it's just new coming into Indian River. Absolutely. So that, w that would be great. So, all right, very good. Thank you. Would you mind repeating the date again for the audience? Absolutely. The date is December 15th. It's Saturday, December 15th, uh, 10 30 a.m. at Crestlawn Sharp. We will start laying, laying wreaths and 11 30 sharp at the island. Thank you. Thank you. And you, I know you'll be reporting to the Veterans Council later on, but in case there's some scouts or veterans or whatever, you want them in their uniforms, or, or does it matter, or is there any uh, tradition in that, that sense that veterans? Yeah, we would love to see, especially with any scouts, mm -hmm. uh, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, wear your uniform, show, show pride in your organization as well. Uh -huh. um, veterans, anything they have. I know the Veterans Council members here have some shirts that they wear. Right. Mm -hmm. um, if a high school, high school sports teams, band, yeah. choir, any of that, if they have golf polos or their or their athletic uniform, like the football team with football shirts, mm -hmm. anything like that, please you know, represent your organization. We'd we'd love to see it, and we'd like to see a lot of smiling faces that day. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, and I, I can tell you, we do have we all have post thirty nine and thirty nine riders there. Uh, I spoke with the post one eighty nine and Sebastian riders uh, last week. They will be attending. So we're we're gonna I'm gonna be putting the invitation out today at the Veterans Council meeting to for for all the members there to send representatives also. Yeah, of course. Okay, great. Uh, Patrick, do you have a question or a comment? Have we um, have you guys done press release or gotten press involved at all? We we've given the press release to Bruce Katie for the. Yeah. Veterans that's, Council to go through him. Yeah. Okay. And that's something else I was going to speak uh, at the council today to see if we can get them to back us on a couple of press releases to get it out a little bit better okay. for the rest of the public. Y'all have a flyer? Uh, is a flyer that we could pass out? I could provide to the city or you can make one up. Someone up. Yeah, we absolutely have a template for one. Yeah. We just need to, we can add the date. We can get yeah. lots of those If you could share that with, with, with the, uh, committee, then the committee can provide it to the city and we can get out, I get it through the city distribution. Sure. Can I just send that to Rita? Sure can. And I can right. make email to each of them. I can make. I can make copies. I can have post it in our front window, okay. uh, different departments, okay. within website. With, within, within a day or two, you'll have it. And, you know, and that would help the Veterans Council, too, to get it out to all of the subordinate organizations. Mm -hmm. Will do. And we can send it out on social media, too. An event on Facebook, whatever. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's a, it'll be a wonderful addition. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you again for your support. For all your hard work. Very wonderful. <clears throat> okay, the next uh, under new business is the uh, uh, have a look at our annual report. And it looks like in 2018 we, we did quite a few things there on the island. And. Uh, There's the, I, I guess, is this still a draft? I mean, if there is any, if anyone sees anything. If anybody uh, sees anything, you're welcome to you know, speak about it now, or if you see something later, email it to me. I can make the correction or adjustment. Right. Um, but I did include the final account information, mm -hmm. which I didn't have originally when I emailed it to you, but she said the balance as of the end of November was the $12,219.21. Okay. On the <coughs> one correction there on the last page, this ruck much. <laughs> well, after okay. the rainy, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a ruck much. <laughs> ruck much. Huh? Actually, it's, okay. for part of it was a ruck run that surprised me, and but I, I kept up. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and again, if anyone sees anything now, we could uh, uh, talk about it, or if, um, I guess it has to be turned over to the city council at the 
next meeting? Is that when? Um, whenever it's been, we got it finalized and approved. Mm -hmm. That there's no other changes or corrections, then I'll send it to give it to Tammy for the city council. Okay. It looks good so far, other than one little typo and yeah. great photo on the front. What a wonderful spot it is, and how lucky we are to have this in the community. Imagine if we if we didn't have that, and we were trying to get veterans organizations together to buy that little piece of. There'd be like five million dollar condos out there instead of a, a, a place to honor those that died in the service of our country in the wonderful spot that it is. So I guess if anyone has any, we can email that back to Rita. Otherwise, we will move on to old business. And um, a recap of Veterans Day ceremony, which was uh, turned out. We need out. to uh, make a motion to accept this report as oh, um, we're doing. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, accept it as. I don't see any other corrections or changes. I can some of that. All right, some thank of you. I'll second that. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for that and putting it together, Rita, for us. You're welcome. And then um, uh, back to old business, we recap of Veterans Day ceremony. We, we had a, another, I don't know exactly how many people we had out there, but it was, a, a, I've got a few copies of the program if anybody needs it or wants it for their scrapbook, but yeah. it was, a, I think, uh, well attended and, and uh, we print up 1,500 programs um, and most of them were gone. We, we uh, of course, Sam Coons, the president of the Veterans Council was the master of ceremonies and Tony Young, Colonel Young, uh, the uh, parade marshal, uh, the uh, all of the sights and sounds and symbols that are traditional for Veterans Day, which is of course a celebration. Memorial Day is more of a solemn ceremony. The um, Pledge of Allegiance was by our Gold Star mother, Michelle Dale, and the high school band. It's always wonderful to have them out there. The um, um, wreath was placed by a, a, a new recruit, army recruiter in, in town that uh, did a great job. And the, um, um, the keynote speaker uh, was uh, uh, General Shoemaker, and he did a great job. And I kind of joke sometimes, but all those generals have been to charm school and are, are used to making nice presentations, and he did a, a wonderful job. Anyone have anything in particular to recap on, on Veterans Day ceremony? Well, if anyone that's watching on TV that doesn't go out of these, I'd encourage you to go to Memorial Day and Veterans Day and occasionally other th things like the POWMIA or uh, honoring uh, um, the end of the Korean War and some of the other ones that we've had out there. Colonel Young, you're, I know you were a big part of this. Do you have anything you want to say about the Veterans Day uh, ceremony that we did a good job and you did a good job? <laughs> I just want to uh, say um, my thanks to the committee and, and their shepherding of, of the island, the sanctuary, um, because um, it was it was beautiful. Um, I think every time we have a ceremony and we invite uh, foreigners to come to our town <laughs> and they visit the island, they are just blown away. They, you know, it's it's something for people to come and and not only uh, see how beautiful the island is, which is absolutely incredible, um, but to see the participation by all of the all of the people, um, and it's it's the young children that are there, whether it's the Cub Scouts or the Boy Scouts, or it's the uh, the older veterans that are have moved to town that that love this place, uh, or or it's the, or it's the families uh, that come there, and. Um, <coughs> I think over the years, uh, the island has, you know, has just taken on a, a special meaning to the to the town, and the fact that we had the chance to have uh, two um, family members there at the dedication for the Gold Star for the Gold Star Grove uh, really put uh, something behind what it's all about. Because I mean, you can talk about a plaque, but when you have two young people there who've lost family members. Um, in service to our country, um, it you know it speaks to what the whole intent of the island is, and um, um, the fact that 
the trees were given mm -hmm. as speaks to the community the fact that the plaques were paid for by the American Legion uh, for it as speaks to the island the fact that we've got the Gold Star family uh, members participating uh, speaks to it so it's really you know it's it's a reflection of uh, y'all and and the city and and, and uh, something that is uh, a uh, special uh, a diamond in the crown of Vera Beach in Indian River County uh, and uh, I think what uh, the city has done and what you're doing and dedicating your time to uh, making that idea a reality is uh, is priceless so I just want to say thanks thank you and, uh, dedicating the old star grove was uh, a big part of the ceremony and um, and then staff sergeant Peterson who had mentioned the new army recruiter placing the reef there that was a moving and important part of the ceremony um, the cover uh, I'd had a question about the cover which had uh, the poppy and a lot of people think of that as a, a Memorial Day but it was really representative of the uh, it was a hundred years since the end of World War one and then in that area where World War one was waged you know the famous poem of in Flanders field where poppies grow and so we picked up the the poster from the uh, the national poster there's a contest each year to come up with a national poster for Veterans Day and Memorial Day so that was a little bit of the national poster to to tie in the end of 100 years since World War One, and now 100 years of Vero Beach coming up pretty soon too. So anything else on, on Veterans Day that you want to say? Well, the Veterans Council always puts together a great ceremony and, uh, on Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and another another good one. Um, let's see. I guess I don't know if this is I guess a little bit out of order, but uh, on the um, the big map as you walk onto the island, uh, I know to redo the whole thing is costly and time consuming. But I don't think the Gold Star Grove is represented on on there. Or if, if in the future we can we can have that added, we should because it's a it's it's not really a monument that somebody might just walk around and notice right away because the, it's a grove of trees and there's many trees on the island. Now hopefully they would notice the plaque and the cenotaphs, but maybe that might be something that we add uh, the um, uh, location of the Goats, Gold Star Groves on the big sign. So let's see, um, and I guess maybe I guess we, we are on that subject. On the, the next is the update of the repair or, or replacement of the Gold Star family's plaque. And um, let's see if we, do we need to, some of it, I, I think it will, you had mentioned once that it has a little scar, which may be sort of repre uh, Go ahead. I, it's up to the committee. I mean, I think Don, um, the offer was to go ahead and remove it and send it back to have it uh, repaired. Is that correct? Yes. And that's at your discretion. Yes, sir. What, what, it, if you want to do it or not. And I didn't mean to short. Uh, anyone to come up and speak? Uh, pardon me. I'm just... Uh, we've asked the foundry about getting it repaired and um, what we're trying to do is find out exactly how different it would look mm -hmm. on the border. Uh, they, they can do a repair to it, but it's not going to match exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, and so we're, we're just we're going back and forth with the uh, the foundry now to, to try and firm that up and see what it would look like. And it's really not a bad uh, damage to it, really. I, and, uh, you. We had talked a little bit about it. Almost represents the scar that families carry uh, forever, and, and mm -hmm. I don't know if it's. Is any, have you all seen it or no? Uh, want to comment on it? Yeah. Does it, ne it needs to be repaired, but probably not replaced. But I uh, made a good point last meeting, you know, and and I know that you had mentioned that, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. then, you know I guess that's something that's up for discussion without you know beating it to death. But I I, I think it probably should be repaired mm -hmm. and uh, so so that's where we are now we're getting an estimate okay. to repair it and yes. see what what that takes yeah and and hopefully they can send us some sort of a photo to see or something to tell us how different it is mm -hmm. uh, you know from the the bronze that's been cast rather than the part that's going to be repaired so they'll, but they'll be relatively small nicks as, as you all have seen that'll mm -hmm. be smoothed out 
Okay, well, so we'll, we'll wait and wait to hear. So, okay. All right, thank you, sir. <clears throat> All right, well, we, we don't have a whole lot on our schedule under chairman's matters. I, 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 I just want to remind the community that's listening and all of us to, re, to remember the Pearl Harbor Day coming up and it's December 7th and not only Pearl Harbor Day and that, that battle and all the those that were lost in the battle, but the ensuing battles and, and all of World War II that went on after that and, and to honor our World War II veterans that were losing quickly, but uh, how the world would have been changed had they not won. Uh, and I talked to Marines that when I first moved here that, that were in some of those battles and it wasn't always, uh, uh, didn't always look like it was gonna go the, the right way. So luckily the, the World War II vet, veterans basically saved the world and we owe them a, all of our gratitude and, and to honor them um, is the is I guess the, we don't have any uh, Pearl Harbor Day ceremonies that uh, are scheduled that I know of uh, <laughs> Colonel Young's back up again <laughs> on um, Friday at I think it's one o'clock if, if I remember right Sebastian at Riverview Park um, uh, Riverview Park at one o'clock. Um, the um, VFW American Legion are going to have one. So Father uh, or uh, our Chaplain uh, Dave will be a part of that. Yes, sir. Um, so in fact, there will be. So yeah. Sebastian at one o'clock, and, they, and I guess they're, Park, right. they're aiming that at basically the time of the attack that would have been uh, at what twelve fifty-five <clears throat> or whatever was the time of the initial attack, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, it would have been the time here, but the time there. Yeah, I thought they came. I, I'm, and I'm apologize, but I thought they came across in the morning. Yeah. In the morning, it was. I thought it was like eight fifteen. Never the mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we. Uh, uh, all right. Well, thank you for the, for that. And we'll spread the word. When when we first moved here, the AMVETS post was real active, and I was post commander and then district commander of that. And the the AMVETS were veterans that didn't serve in combat, so they weren't part of the VFW or, or many times the, the Legion. And and the big day for the AMVETS was Pearl Harbor Day, and so we had always uh, we would go to the island. And I remember one time early. This is a about 30 years ago, it was me and, and one other veteran and a pelican, and we had water from above the Arizona blessed, and, and we put that on a wreath and threw it in the water, and, and the, the pelican seemed to appreciate the, uh, the, the gesture, but it was such a small turnout compared to some of the things that we see on Memorial Island today, uh, 30 years later, it was, um, and we had at that time probably 15 or 16 Pearl Harbor survivors that were alive in our community. And I, I don't know if we have any more. Has Ernie, no. Switch, Ernie no. is the last one that I know of. And yeah. so, let's see if um, under mem uh, that's all I have under uh, Chairman's matters. The members have anything? To yes, sir. I have two items. Uh, one is that uh, on Saturday, uh, the Armed Guard Merchant Marine Museum is opening at Felsmere. It's right located next to the Marsh Landing. And um, it's, it's open to everyone to come to that ceremony at 10 o'clock. And I think that I plan to be there. So I go to their monthly meetings mm -hmm. and breakfasts and so forth. So. The other thing is, what, what's I've kind of lost track of. Lest we forget, uh, monument. What, what's what's going on there? Anything? That well, I know you're looking at me for an update, but <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping news nothing. <laughs> no news is good news. Is right. Okay, I just, well there, there is no update. <laughs> I know, so you know that was back in March, and I just haven't seen anything. I just mom is the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know there's something. <laughs> There was something in the paper recently about the uh, Peace Monument in Bladensburg, Maryland, you know, and there's talk about getting rid of that, so I just... Yes, there's activity all over the nation regarding this exact issue, so if we continue on the path that we're on now, we'll all be happy, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I, um, I have a few things. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to, I know we just lost a huge advocate, not only for the city, but for the uh, veterans, um, you know, advocate also, Ace Capellan. So oh, yeah. um, I had the, um, I guess, honor uh, to uh, go to his ceremony the other day and uh, inspirational ceremony. It but was. Ace was uh, 
great for the city of Vero Beach, the county, and um, obviously for veterans. Um, we had a great time at the Marine Corps Ball. Oh. It, we had a great, great time. And um, I happened, uh, my wife uh, had her Christmas party. My wife works for Disney. And one thing that I, I found out over there, I didn't realize, because the Marines were there for the Toys for Tots, mm -hmm. that Walt Disney actually drew the Toys for Tots thing. Oh, I, mean, I never realized I that. Know. And they had brought it up that Walt Disney did that. So, But it was a, a nice thing for the Toys for Tots and uh, mm -hmm. people in the community. They're out there, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Yep, I'm good. Unless somebody in the audience has got something. I just wanted to comment about Ace Capellan as well. It was a wonderful ceremony, and, and to hear his grandchildren all up there uh, uh, speaking, it was moving, hearing about everything from his 64 Ford uh, race car that, <laughs> that he would drive. And he was described as like the godfather of Hero Beach in a good way, not in a cr criminal way, but I mean, everybody thought so much of him. And, and, uh, and every time I saw him, not that I, but he would stop and go, hi, partner, or something like that. How you doing? And always talk. And he, he, he was a wonderful guy and his, all of his um, children and grandchildren and all that he, and all the people that he affected and influenced in a positive way. Well, any, um, anything on that you have to say or any? Nope. <laughs> Short and sweet. Uh, Short and about something to, to add? And um, I just wanted to make a couple notes for y'all. Um, uh, first of all, um, I wanted to say thank you for a productive year, a year of a lot of work by the committee. I saw your annual report in the uh, with the agenda leading up to this meeting, and uh, it's been a full year, um, and I think that the committee has done a, a commendable job. Um, I think the fact that we have the opportunity to uh, have a uh, Afghan Iraq monument uh, where it's located is probably even better than any other option that we could have found. I thought that was, and I think that's coming together really well. Um, and I think that over the year, the participation uh, by all veterans with the island has been a, a, a strength. And so, I mean, as you look to the future, uh, in the coming year, I think uh, the island is in, in good stead and it's a reflection of y'all. Um, I would offer to you, um, and I think you should take advantage of it if you would like, um, uh, I would sponsor you for the agenda for next week. You need to let uh, the city clerk know if you'd like to do that to speak to your annual report so that it has visibility for all of the city council, not just myself. Um, and that way folks in the community understand uh, what you do day to day. Um, and I think it's been very successful. Um, in the coming year, um, business to be completed, um, um, I will provide Don the information for the individual plaques for the Grove, so he'll have that for Memorial Day. Um, also, I have a uh, to be completed work uh, with the good attorney's office in, in regards to the uh, speci uh, specifics in regards to the individual uh, plaques for the for the trees, so that's available for the future. That's there. Um, also, um, in the work for the uh, Gold Star Grove, we realize that we have one family that it would, will be eligible for a cenotaph, and then we also have the naval. Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? A, a, I'm a soldier, so I'm a, for a lack of words. Uh, a, 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 what do you call it? What, what, what are those guys? Yeah, I don't know. What do I, gun, it's not a gunny sergeant. What do, what do you call the NCOs? Petty, petty, petty officer. Petty officer. There you go. Okay. You've got a petty officer that will be recognized that was killed uh, in, in California, and we had that recognition. So mm -hmm. that's a second cenotaph. So I anticipate that we'll have two more applications come to you for, mm -hmm. for that. Um, and then your idea for a new sanctuary map, I would pursue that. I mean, I think the, uh, um, in, in speaking with um, Public Works, um, you know, the investment to uh, update that and it would be appropriate. Um, but um, I think overall, I think are, are, are pretty incredible. Um, 
I did mention uh, Pearl Harbor because it's coming up on Friday, uh, and um, we do have about 70 men from our area that are identified on the Lest We Forget uh, and the Pearl Harbor Survivors Memorial. Um, last year, somebody uh, purchased a wreath and placed it, and placed it next to that memorial, and it was beautiful, and there were roses placed on it. So I know the public is engaged with the island. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like when you go out and you see mementos that are left with the cenotaphs. So, um, so that's there. Um, and regarding the uh, Merchant Marine and the uh, Navy Armed Guard uh, Museum that's going to be dedicated in, in Felsmere on Saturday, we have, uh, I believe, two or three men with cenotaphs. Uh, Mixon is one of them who was a Merchant Marine that lost his life in the Second World War. So there is a direct tie-in between uh, the island and, the, and that museum. Um, and also, I just um, want to mention today is the memorial for um, uh, Bush 41 in DC mm -hmm. as, a, as a, a naval uh, aviator. Um, uh, we had, um, we probably had eight from Second World War that gave their lives. Um, uh, Lee, Lee was, no, Lee was killed in, in the European battle, but. Um, Hill, Joseph Hill, was a naval aviator that was shot down and killed in the uh, uh, Japanese concentration camp in the Pacific. And then also um, the Loudermilk, uh, one of the Loudermilk boys, he was at the uh, um, battle for um, Iwo Jima and lost his life coming to shore. And then the other man was... Um, he was killed in Saipan right before um, uh, the battle for Iwo Jima. Uh, he was a, a fellow Marine in his in his outfit. Um, Blair is his name on the island. So there are, you know, there's there's a good representation of, of veterans there. But um, again, thank you, and I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you had mentioned Loudermilk's so lost uh, one in World War II and one in Vietnam. That family had quite a sacrifice. Uh, Fifty years ago, in fact today, we were winding up Operation Mead River, which was the biggest search and destroy mission of the Vietnam War and the largest helicopter assault in the history of the Marine Corps. And we, we had about 130 Marines killed, and, and they killed about 1,300 of the enemy in 20 days. It was a heck of a battle. Yeah. So. 50, 50 years ago, in 68, I believe out of 18 Vietnam veterans on the island recognized, I believe the number is five. Vera lost five young men uh, that year in Vietnam. Um, so, uh, and um, uh, you know, uh, the uh, sacrifice of lives continues. So. I, w I was in Vietnam 68, 69, and 70 are part of those years, and the, that represents about 34,000 of our uh, troops killed. And not that we seem to worry about the enemy that much, but you wonder how many millions of the enemy kill. Yes, sir. Did you, you come to the microphone? <laughs> you, and, you want to introduce your partner, too? <laughs> well, some can see her, some can't. This is uh, Gracie, my service dog. So she's a three-year-old German Shepherd. Very friendly, so if you guys want to pet, you guys may pet. Um, just a question on the, on the island sanctuary map. Will we be including the words from war out front on that, since that's not on the island, or is that possible, mm -hmm. since that is tied to the island? I guess it's, you know, it'll be pretty hard to miss when you're coming in, but <laughs> uh, but I, I suppose we, we need to, like, it's not really in our area, although we're very interested and want to support it and help it. In fact, I, I think, as Colonel Young mentioned, it probably couldn't be better, even if we had had a better slab of cement to put it on and solve some of the other problems. It would have been way back in the corner compared to where it is now. Right. In fact, even if we wanted, we said, oh, we want it back on the island. You guys <laughs> probably have it already there. So, but. 
Um, I, I think that it should be, but uh, I guess we discussed it. I, and the only reason I ask that question is for those who visit Vero Beach that aren't uh -huh. from here, right? Um, which there are a lot that do that. Uh -huh. They may not know what that is right off the bat, right. and it may be beneficial uh -huh. um, if they're. Uh -huh. When the second phase of the project does come around, sure. when something uh -huh. does go on the island uh -huh. smaller, it may be beneficial to tie them both uh -huh. in. And Sounds good. Who is the lead? Who are y'all reporting to on you know construction materials and names and stuff like that? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the vice president of uh, Next Gen Inc. Because yeah, we don't hear much about it. Uh, and uh, Bruce is the president. Uh -huh. And um, I'll give you a quick update. Okay. Um, we are up to 90000 roughly, on funds raised. Um, we had an advisory board meeting last night, so things are progressing. Uh -huh. we, we have all learned a lot, and, and we look forward to working with you guys mm -hmm. in the future to, to go ahead and put something on the island that, that matches everything else, mm -hmm. and of course, tie everything in together. But mm -hmm. we are excited, the team is energized, and, mm -hmm. um, and we're doing good work, and, and it's a great, great way to recognize the young veterans as well. So, yeah. and it'll be a, a regional monument to to those that uh, to you all. To and and personally, I have to say thank you for everybody that that has counseled us mm -hmm. in in the whole process and and getting us to where we're where we're at now. Because without without you guys, we would probably still be lost. So, <laughs> thank you very much. You've done a great job. Yeah. So anybody, any comments on the that monument that's coming up? Or? Well, let's see. I, I guess if there's, if Peggy, did you do you have anything you wanted to add, or anyone else? Okay. Well, then, uh, I guess our next meeting will be January second. Which are we going to do that? I guess we are, huh? <laughs> Is it January second. At least it won't be January first. So, um, <laughs> so if there's no other business, then we're adjourned. Thank you.